For more than 40 years, the U.S. has used weather satellites to gather pictures and data to help forecasters. Yeah, that's right. The program is called GOES, which stands for Geostationary Operational and Environmental Satellites. WCCO Director of Meteorology Mike Augustinak and our pal is at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Hey, Gusty. <laughs> trip of a lifetime, ladies. I got to tell you, it's so exciting to be here as we're just a short, a few hours away from launch coming up later today. And I'm so happy to be able to bring it to you as well. This is a big deal. Uh, the rocket and satellite rolled out onto launch pad 41 yesterday morning. That's the same launch pad that New Horizons mission to Pluto used in 2006 and the Juno mission to Jupiter used in 2011. 2.25 million pounds of thrust are going to propel that half billion dollar satellite into space in about four and a half minutes but it will take about two weeks for it to reach its final orbit at an altitude of 22,400 miles above the Earth's equator. It's the first of four new satellites as part of this goes our group uh, in the coming years. They will replace our aging fleet of satellites that are up there right now, which are actually based on 1970s technology. Goes are uh, and their whole series of satellites will give us three times the number of pictures of the Earth with four times the resolution five times faster than we get them right now. So it will be a huge aid in forecasting not only severe weather for sort of immediate and now casting, but also feeding into our weather models for mid and long range forecasting. If you want to watch the launch, it is uh, going to happen at 442 p.m. Central Time. And you can watch that launch streaming live on our WCCO Facebook page. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk with one of the forecasters from the 45th Space Wing. They're responsible to make sure the weather is OK for this satellite to launch and right now we're looking at about a 90% chance for launch. Well, today is the big day. NASA and NOAA will launch a new weather satellite into space. The program is called GOES, which stands for Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites. WCCO Director of Meteorology Mike Augustinek is at Kennedy Space Center in Florida to cover the launch. Hey, Gusty. Your old stomping grounds, right, Molly? It's uh, it's a beautiful day here. I, I hate to say that, but it's also it's accurate, and we want to be accurate here. And uh, to make it even more accurate, we're going to bring in uh, the launch weather officer. This is Captain Godoy from the 45th uh, Weather Squadron, right? Yes, sir. Part, part of the Air Force. Tell us, I mean, obviously right now it's beautiful. Will, will this weather hold through launch? We are expecting it to hold. We're expecting, even though there is a front moving through later this evening, it's going to be a relatively dry front. And uh, although winds will pick up, it's not until after the launch window. So we're talking late tonight. But for the viewing uh, of the launch or for filming of the launch, it looks like It'll be, uh, if anything, just partly cloudy, but it's looking pretty nice. And the launch is happening at 442 Central, and that's right after local sunset, so that should make it even prettier. Besides winds, um, Captain, what else goes into a go, no-go decision for a launch weather-wise? Well, typically we're concerned about something called triggered lightning. So uh, natural lightning we all know with thunderstorms, but triggered lightning can occur whenever you're launching a rocket through a um, uh, elevated electric field and maybe that field isn't strong enough to produce its own lightning strike like you would see in a thunderstorm but once you send a rocket with an exhaust plume of charged particles it can trigger its own lightning strike and so that's really what we're evaluating our launch weather rules uh, to, to avoid that from happening and w what's the radius how, how far away or how close would lightning or the chance for triggered lightning have to be to cancel a launch? It, it depends uh, on the weather scenario. Um, sometimes if we have thunderstorms all the way in Tampa, so we're talking about 100 miles away, if we get that uh, anvil cloud, that top level of that thunderstorm blowing over the spaceport, that could still scrub a launch. So a lot of people don't realize that we're not just talking about 5 miles, 10 miles. It could be up to 100 miles that we're monitoring. So 90% chance for launch still today? Yes, confirmed. We're, we're looking at great weather tonight. We're really not expecting any concerns. And even in an event of a delay, uh, we're expecting those conditions to continue on Sunday as well. So only 10% uh, chance of violation. There have been enough delays with the launch of this satellite already, thanks in part to Hurricane Matthew. So we're all excited here. Thanks, Captain Godoy. Uh, thanks she actually has to go back and, and, and actually work now and do the forecast for the launch. Again, if you want to watch it, we'll be streaming live on our WCCO Facebook page. It starts at 442 this evening. Might want to get on the page a little early because there'll be some coverage from NASA TV you can check out as well. Guys. Thanks, Mike. Very cool. Very cool.